There is a few mindsets that you're going to need to come to terms with to write this book because your success as an author is absolutely linked to your mindset, especially when you're writing a book because everything about you is magnified. If you're concerned about something, it's going to be magnified. If you're passionate about something, it'll be magnified. If you are reticent about something, it will be magnified. So your mindset is critical. And there's a few things that I really want to show you to make a difference in this. It's all about getting that right. Here's something you're going to hear from me time and time again. Writing a book is not about perfection. It's about progress. It's about making small, steady steps towards progress as you write. That's why we look at wins. That's why we connect you to what's working. That's why we connect you to the community because I want you to know you're not alone and no one's perfect. It's just about making continual progress. Now, as you've already seen, I'm a massive fan of self-publishing and the reason is this. It's faster, it's cheaper, and you can use it in a much more effective way to build a business. You can build business through the book. Most authors I know who go with a publisher, um, it actually doesn't make them a lot of money. They tend to make somewhere, a really successful person will make somewhere between ten dollars and $20,000 out of a book over, you know, maybe two years. But my authors are making ten dollars or $20,000 a month out of the business that flows through their book. That's the difference. Self-publishing gives you so much autonomy. So we're going to look at self-publishers. That means you print it yourself, you design it yourself, you write it, you organize your own editors, and you know what? It doesn't cost very much money. The tools are so great now. Because as I said, I want you to create income, not from the sale of a book, but from the business that comes through the book. That's why we're going to set this book up to position you as an authority. Okay, the next mindset that's really important is this is not the book, the one and only. This is not your magnus opum. It, it is not the, the book. It is the first of many books. So this is a book. And for that reason, that ties right back to our progress, not perfection. You're going to get this book sorted. And once that's done and we've generated some business and we, we've, you know, built something from that, then you're going to say to me, it's time to write the next book. It's time to write the next book. I know what I want to write my next book about. This is the first of many books. Here's something when you're writing or speaking the book or dictating or however you're doing it. I want you to write for one person. I want you to imagine that that person is sitting there right in front of you and write for them. And the way you write is I want you to tell them everything. A lot of people say to me, should I hold stuff back? Um, no, is my opinion. Knowledge is pretty accessible to everyone. With Google, you can find knowledge on anything. So I don't, there's not much knowledge which is no one else has. But what they don't have is the ability to implement that knowledge into their lives. So I believe when you're writing for this one person, tell them everything. Tell them how to get the result that they want to get out of the book. Tell them everything. Don't hold anything back. And here's the other thing. I want you to write like you talk. Most people think there's a, you know, a proper academic way of writing and your teachers at school probably taught you that. But in reality, it's about your personality and finding your voice and telling your stories. So I want you to write like you're having a great coffee conversation with a best mate. Write like you talk. Write, write like you are having that great conversation over coffee. And here's the thing I want you to know. Most people say, oh, but is this information useful? Is this information relevant? What you're doing is you're worrying about what your peers will say. You're not worrying about what the people you're trying to help with your book will say. So, sure, peers will go, oh, I, I could have done that better. You know, back when I was... Um, you know, a photographer and a director, we had this joke, you know, if you, if you, um, how many directors does it take to change a light bulb? And of course the answer is, you know, 99, you know, um, one to actually change the light bulb and 98 to say, 
yeah, I think I could have done it better than that. That's not who you're writing your book for. Your peers are clearly going to go, oh, I could have done it better than that. But you know what? They didn't. You did. They didn't. You did. So you're writing for your readers. You're writing for the people that you help. You're not writing for your peers. Once you get that firmly in your mind, it changes the game. Okay, let's look at some more mindsets. Probably the biggest challenge most people have is time, finding time to write. So if you're too busy, set a ridiculous deadline. Uh, when I wrote one of my books, I, I set a, a deadline for five weeks. And you know what? I hit it because I, that really worked for me. If you're finding you're too busy, set a deadline for when you're going to have your first draft finished. Set a deadline for when you're going to have the printed copy in your hands. That's a huge motivating factor. Now, most of you will uh, struggle with what's called imposter syndrome. And what that means is you, you just worry that someone's going to find you out, that you're, you know, you're not really the expert you think you are, um, that someone's going to, aha, caught you out. You know what? Everybody, no, no matter how clever you are, feels like there's someone who knows more than them about it. And that's absolutely true, right? But what your job is to share your insights. It's to share your stories and how you have got these kind of results and how your clients have got these kind of results. It's to share you. And it's not about being an imposter. It's about being authentic and genuine and you. So, you know, if we're feeling a bit like imposter syndrome, everybody, every author feels that way. So what we're going to do is we're just going to acknowledge it, move it to the side and Prog and make progress on helping as many people as we can. That's the way through it. Because I want you to value your experience. Because you've experienced stuff, you don't actually place a high value on it. It's really interesting. But if, you know, if you had uh, learned how to do something really cool and I desperately wanted to know about it, I would value your experience really highly. You wouldn't because you go, oh, that's not that difficult. So um, that guitar there, um, I built that guitar from scratch. Uh, I made it. Uh, it plays beautifully. I absolutely love it, right? And if you don't know how to make a guitar, you're going, wow, that's amazing, right? But for me, I'm like, oh, I just I worked in the shed for a couple of weeks and make the guitar. I don't value that experience. You're doing the same with your experience. You have highly valuable experience, but you're not valuing it. What you need to do is just tell your stories. Just tell people how to do what you are telling them how to do in the book. It's valuable. Okay, here's the thing. You're building a cathedral. Now, a wonderful book um, called Start With Why by the author Simon Sinek uh, talks about this great story where this uh, guy's walking along and he sees this man working with stone and he says... He says to him, um, tell me, what are you doing? And he goes, well, I'm out here every day. I'm cutting these big, heavy stones. I've got calluses on my, my hands. It's hot work. I'm sure I'm aging quicker than I need to. And I'm building this wall. I'm building, you know, I'm building the wall. And that's, that's what I do. Now, the next day, this guy walked past the same site, but he noticed a different guy working there and he said to the guy tell me what you're doing and the guy said well I'm working with these massive stone blocks it's very hard work my hands are callous and my body's aging and and it's hot and it's sun but you know what I'm building a cathedral I'm building a cathedral that will stand for hundreds and hundreds of years and even though this is really hard work I'm loving the the contribution that I'm making to the cathedral they're the same work but having a bigger picture that you're building a cathedral has a profound effect on the way you do that work so i want you to see that you are building a cathedral you're not just laying stones out and making a wall that's a really important mindset now i want you to embrace the personal development you are going to learn more personally and professionally than you ever have by writing this book embrace it your business is going to be better for it. Your career is going to be better for it. Your personal development is going to be better for it. So embrace it. There's a lot to overcome. And you can just see in these mindsets, if you could really handle these mindsets, what a difference that would make to your life, not just your book. 
Okay. So you've got some challenges ahead. We are here for you. That's what we're here. The whole community, not just me, not just my um, uh, uh, coach, uh, author coaches, um, our Sherpas. It's not, it's a whole community here. Our deepest, deepest desire for you is to have that pure joy of holding that book up and to have to have written and produced a book that has real value that people can get real benefit from and that in the process it will help you build authority it will help you build visibility and credibility it's a very very cool thing to contribute to the world it's a cool legacy to leave and it's all about overcoming those challenges one challenge at a time so jump on the Facebook jump in the live coaching session don't hesitate to ask when you need help we are really really pleased to have you here and these are the mindsets that are going to get you through the process of writing a book